is a graph theory question we have been given this directed graph and for that we need to determine which of these four options is or are correct the first one is saying the graph does not have a topological order so now what do we mean by topological order and in which graph does it exist it only exists for the dag or directed acyclic graphs is our graph directed yes it is but is it acyclic it is not we can see two cycles over here this is a cycle and in the same way we can see another cycle between these four nodes so this graph is definitely not cyclic so the topological order will not exist for this graph um, and what did we mean by topological order it is such an arrangement of nodes such that uh, let us say if we have such a graph let us call the nodes as a b c and this is d then for such a graph it is directed and it is acyclic so for this we can form a topological order such as we will be having a first then after that like we are dividing it into levels after a we can have either b or c both are allowed so we can go with b and then c and then these both together leads to d so after b and c both are done we will be having d another topological order will be a c b d that is also possible so it is like an arrangement of nodes in the order in which the inputs are going into them the incoming edges are going into those nodes so that is what a topological order is and it will not exist for the given graph so option a is true now next one is saying that the depth first traversal starting at vertex s this is our s classifies three directed edges as back edges now what do we mean by the back edges when we do a dfs traversal then we will be encountering some nodes in such a way that they will be leading back to their ancestors for example if we have let us consider these four nodes and there is a cycle between them and then if i start my dfs at this particular node then i'll go this way this way this way and now while i am at this particular node it has only one outgoing edge and where is it leading to its parent itself so this edge will be classified as the back edge we can visualize it properly if we construct a dfs tree out of it let us call these nodes as 1 2 3 4 we started our dfs traversal at 1 then we went to 2 then we went to 3 and then 4 and from 4 where can we go there is only one possibility h 4 to 1 but that h is leading to its ancestor itself because one is an ancestor of 4 so such an edge is called as a back edge so in our graph we have to perform dfs traversal and then check which are the back edges that we might encounter so for simplicity let us number uh, the nodes so that it will be easy to identify okay so let's do it this way we can call these nodes as starting from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 this s itself represents 13 that is our starting location so from here we have to perform dfs on this graph and alongside we will also keep constructing the dfs tree so we are starting at node s or 13 from that there is only one outgoing edge so we will be visiting 14 after that now from this 14 we can go either to 10 or to 15 let us go to 10 first this way now from 10 we have three options we can go to any one of them let us go to let's say 9 um, so from 10 to 9 there is an edge now from 9 because this was a cycle 13 14 10 and 9 they are forming a cycle so now from this 9 if we go to 5 that's allowed but if we are going to 13 from 9 then 13 is its parent itself or the start node so from 9 there is an edge which is possible leading to its parent not immediate parent its ancestor so this edge can be called to be a back edge from 9 to s 
this is one package that we have found now from 9 we will not go to this way because it will be forming a cycle so we will go to 5 from 9 so from 9 we went to 5 and now from 5 again we are having two choices we can go either to 1 or to 6 let us go to 1 so from 5 we went to 1 now from 1 there is only one option we can go to 2 from 2 we will be going to 6 now from 6 again we have only one option we can go to 7 from the 7 we have two options either we can go to 3 or we can go to 8 uh, let us say we are going to 3 so from 7 we are going to 3 now you can see that from this 3 we again have two options we can go either to 2 or to 4 but this edge from 3 to 2 will again be forming a back edge because 2 is an ancestor of 3 and at this part this is again a cycle 3 2 6 7 it is again forming a cycle so there is a back edge from 3 to 2 as well so we will not be going to 2 we will be going to 4 from 3 now from this 4 we don't have any outgoing edge so we will be having to backtrack from there so we'll come back to 7 and then from this 7 we will go to 8 from this 8 again there is no outgoing edge we can only go to 4 that is visited already so we'll again go back and do the backtracking we can come back to 7 there is no outgoing edge left at it so we'll again backtrack from 7 we are here right now at 7 from 7 we will go to 6 is there any other outgoing edge at 6 no so we will go to 2 from 2 there is again no option from 1 no it's not there from 5 we can we could go to 6 but 6 is already visited so there is no meaning doing that so we will go to 9 and from 9 is there any possibility no so we will go to 10 now from 10 we can go to 11 that is allowed so we'll go this way from 10 to 11 now from 11 we have only this outgoing edge but that is already visited so we will not go there instead what we'll be doing is uh, we'll follow this bottom path from 11 to 15 that is also an outgoing edge so this way and then from 15 we'll go to 16 now at this 16 we can see there is only one outgoing edge and that is leading to 12 so and 12 is unvisited so we'll go from 16 to 12 now as you can see from this 12 there are two outgoing edges one is going to 8 and one is going to 11 but because this was a cycle hence 11 is an ancestor of 12 8 is not an ancestor of 12 so an edge from 12 to 11 will also form a back edge an edge from 12 to 8 will not form anyways both are already visited we will not be drawing that edge but if it were there then it would be called as a back edge so yes we got three back edges in this graph and what were they it was 9 to s or you can say 9 to 13 then it was 12 to 11 and then it was 3 to 2 there are three back edges so this option is true now coming to C, the graph does not have a strongly connected component. We saw three different cycles in this graph, each of size 4. And each of these cycles represent a strongly connected component. So this graph does have the strongly connected components. That statement is incorrect. And coming to the last one, for each pair of vertices U and V, there exists a directed path from U to V. Now you can pick any two vertices and check it out for yourself. For example, if we take this top left as the source vertex and this bottom right as the destination vertex, then you can check that there is no path from the source to destination. From here you can go this way, this way, this way and this way. Now you are struck. There is no way we can reach this bottom right vertex. Similarly, you can check for any other pair of nodes and you will find out that no, there is no directed path existing between every two pair of nodes. And the reason for this is that the graph is not strongly connected. Hence, 
this statement D is also incorrect. The only correct answers answer is option A and B.